Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Kamran Ali and I'm a lung transplant surgeon at Yashoda Hospitals, Hyderabad. Thank you team Pulmonary Hypertension India for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts on lung transplantation for pulmonary hypertension. But before I begin, I must admit that it is really amazing to see how a group of people with a similar rare disorder have come together and are trying to make a difference in each other's lives. Kudos Team PH India. Uh, it's really commendable and I really wish, I really sincerely wish that uh, all of you grow stronger and healthier together. I'm sure all of you are very well aware of what pulmonary hypertension is, its symptomatology, its clinical manifestations, its pathophysiology and its treatment of course. So pulmonary hypertension basically develops when the blood pressure in the vessel that is taking blood from the heart to the lungs is too high. That is pulmonary hypertension. However, my job today is to talk about a very uncommonly discussed and a very underutilized treatment option for pulmonary hypertension and that is lung transplantation. So a question um, very often asked by patients and their families is why? Why do we need a lung transplant in pulmonary hypertension? Well, I would admit that uh, the number of transplants done for pulmonary hypertension across the globe in the last two decades has seen a decline, but it unfortunately remains true that uh, PH is a chronic debilitating terminal disease. And we have enough scientific evidence and enough data which suggests that lung transplantation is superior to medical management in end-stage lung diseases of pulmonary hypertension. Lung transplantation is useful in patients of class 1, class 3, class 4 and class 5. Compared to that, medical management works only in patients of class 1 pulmonary hypertension. So drugs will only work if you have class 1 pH and nowhere else. And uh, the advantages that transplant uh, offers to a patient of pH is that number one it prolongs the life of the patient who is suffering from pH and number two it gives them a better quality of life and how it does that is by significantly reducing the blood pressure of the pulmonary artery and also reversing and remodeling the right side of the heart and and reversing the right uh, heart dysfunction that sets in in patients of pulmonary hypertension so this brings us to the next question which is when so when do we do a lung transplant for pulmonary hypertension? Well, as a transplant surgeon, we would offer a lung transplant to patients of pulmonary hypertension when they are refractory to maximal medical therapy. What this means in uh, common language is that when a patient of pH is on optimal medical drugs, for a sufficient period of time and his lungs are still failing in spite of that is the time when they should uh, be listed for a lung transplant. This situation is called end-stage lung disease and it is very important that physicians refer uh, patients of pH for lung transplant at the right time because they have a very narrow uh, window for transplantation in which the outcomes of lung transplant for pH are the best. And this brings us to the last question, how and what? So how do we do a transplant surgery and what are the different kinds of transplants that can be offered to a patient of pH? So basically lung transplantation is the process of uh, removing a person's diseased lungs and replacing them by a fresh pair of lungs from a donor who is usually a cadaveric donor who is brain dead. Um, lung transplantation for pulmonary hypertension can be of three kinds. The first one is a single lung transplant, the second is a double lung transplant and the third one is a combined heart lung transplant. Uh, however, um, in the current era, single lung transplantation is almost outdated and there are very few patients who would actually need a single lung transplantation. 
the gold standard at the current moment is a double lung transplantation. So you need to sequentially change both the lungs of a patient suffering from pH. However, sometimes a patient may also be offered a heart lung transplant. Uh, the decision of a heart lung transplant is usually an institutional policy. Uh, at our institution, we would offer a heart lung transplant when there is uh, a severe left ventricular dysfunction and the left side of the heart is failing really bad and maybe the pumping capacity of the ejection fraction is less than 40 percent or and when there is a severe uncorrectable heart defect for which uh, a concomitant heart lung transplant would be needed. So another what that we get asked very often is that what are the survival chances? Well, I would admit that lung transplant for pulmonary hypertension is more challenging than lung transplant for any other indication. The early survival after lung transplant for patients of pH is definitely lower than patients uh, suffering from maybe ILD or COPD or cystic fibrosis. However, the good thing is that if you have crossed this three month uh, period, the long term survival of patients of pulmonary hypertension who undergo a transplant is much higher than patients who undergo transplant for ILD or COPD. To summarize, I would like to emphasize on two points. Number one, the transplant for pulmonary hypertension is a very effective treatment modality. And number two, timing for referrals for transplant is very crucial because a transplant team would like to follow its pH patient's pre-transplant journey so as to uh, decide when to list the patient for a double lung transplant. So that was all from my end. I hope I could uh, pass on some important information regarding lung transplantation for pH. And if you have any queries or any questions, I would be happy to answer them. You can forward me your uh, questions. And you all have a great day and read well.